Disclaimer, this video is made for an adult audience. What's the upside adult fans of Lego Soulbrick in the house and welcome to this channel. A lot of new viewers have been coming in lately. I'm so happy. You're so welcome and also you older viewers. Super welcome as always. You know the drill. In today's video I am going to start working on the rail that's going to go behind here in Soul Town on the raised IKEA table level. I'm going to use these kind of uh, rail pieces from Lego, the modern ones. I will put a plate underneath like this basically and repeat that pattern all the way. Now of course there's a wall here and I have a wardrobe over here or a locker. So that's a bit of a problem. So it's going to be pretty much a fake rail or well the rail is going to go here so that's going to be real. But here I'm going to make a uh, like a tunnel entrance and the same on this side and just put black uh, bricks or something there so you get the feeling of that it will continue in into uh, through the wall. So that's pretty cool. I've already pre-made the tracks. So let's put that in. Okay a bit of a problem here. There's, there's a one brick uh, difference in level there so that's a bit of a nuisance. And also if I place in my buildings you're not really going to see the, the tracks hmm of course I am going to have them a bit raised actually so we get another level in, in this town somewhere here I guess and then we will see the train poking out behind here so that's pretty cool let's get cracking on that wall I do think that this is a good height for the raised train tracks. If I put the synagogue back in there, looks rather nice. I don't think I want to have a station, but when I'm looking at the newsstand, I feel like wouldn't it be cool with you know some stairs up to a little platform there, and you have the newsstand downstairs. So we'll see about that. Then of course we have the burger shack that in Let's see yeah that's totally going to work I think you'll see like a glimpse of the tunnel up here like a valve and then well that black part isn't really a problem but it's in there as you can see if I change the scenery out maybe have a lower building or something here in the future I don't really need to worry about that but this space here behind will be open and no building in front except for this uh, cinema screen. And then on this side I want to have a tunnel going somewhere here maybe. And of course the scene will go in front of it so let's see how that looks. A bit of a tight squeeze. I might have to raise the the museum to go over here so we get a little bit more space. I think that will work. I decided to put the new stand inside of the tunnel. It looks pretty cool. And uh, then where this wall ends that's where the museum is going to come in place. So I don't need to build more walls behind here. You have the cinema over here. You can place some figs in front of here on their cinema chairs. Now I'm going for two bricks high walls up here and they're basically built with uh, one by fours in uh, sync like this. A repeating pattern so it goes like this and then I just place it down. So it's pretty straightforward and this also adds a lot of uh, integrity to the to the structure. I've placed my custom shunter or switcher here and it has a tank car, oil tanker car behind it that is pull, pulling. And uh, I mean, you're going to have to imagine that it has more cars behind it. And then I just need to tile this part off a little bit. So that will look nice and flush. And I realized that I don't really need to have any black bricks in the tunnel because it won't be visible anyway. The car will be in the way. So that's pretty cool. 
Saving some bricks is always good. I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. I've added some foliage over here just to make it look a bit nicer. And behind here I will create a fake facade of buildings. A bit like in comic books, you know. Something like so, I think. Just basically one or two studs deep. So I've uh, constructed the entrance for the tunnel on this side and I haven't really decided what to put up here. Maybe a little mountain piece or something could be cool. And on the side I am going to place some fake facades in different shades of blue. So this is the design of it. And we have some studs poking out on the back side. Just so when it won't fall over that easily. So it goes like that and I won't, I won't drop it behind everything. Yeah, you can see that it's blue. It kind of looks uh, almost like a gray color. So I pretty much like that color. Don't have many bricks of it, but this came good handy here. Yes, classic blue. I'm going for a pretty classic style with these old kind of windows that are a bit smaller. They're only two, two bricks high. So hopefully we'll get a bit of an illusion that these are further back behind the buildings. Let's just pop this veterinary in behind here. I'm going to have to change the design of that this building as well just to, to fit it better here. Maybe have it shorter or something. I've placed in the other entrance now on this side so you can see a little bit better how the construction looks. I think it looks pretty nice from most angles. If we go like so, we're going to see the wall there, but I really don't mind it right now. On camera, it's not really that visible. Well, you can see a bit here in this angle. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it as it is right now and uh, place the buildings back again. Cool. I think I figured it out how I will design the top part of the tunnel entrance. So let's see. I want to have some pieces behind here just to add some more thickness to this part so it feels more uh, robust. And then put in some nice sloped pieces. Starting to look a little bit more like something. And uh, just put a plate back here that will hold this burpees. Oh yes, it's burpees. Big ugly rock piece. Put that down here and I'm going for a light gray just because uh, it contrasts the rest of the build that I think it's more, it's probably made out of stone or concrete or something. Put in a little rock piece here, or a slope. A little nice flower for some color. Come on, little flower. So. Some foliage. Nuts. And this brick built pine that it's from I think it's from an uh, like an advent calendar or something so I mean look at that it looks super natural it doesn't look like I designed it at all it's something that mother nature gave us thank you mother nature you're so kind to us let's pop that in place Uh-huh. Well, that's not so shabby at all. Pretty smart looking. Do I even have focus over here? Cool. And I'm going to make something similar on this side. There's something with the train tunnels that I really love. I go by train a lot because I work in two cities. 
and there's a really long tunnel in between the, the cities that I live in called Hallands Osten or Hallands Osten Tunnel. The Hallands, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what the word is in English actually, but it's a very long tunnel and it took about, I don't know if it took 30 years to, to build or something because the building material they, they used uh, turned out to be poisonous and it killed a lot of cattle in the area. So it was a big scandal back in, in the 90s or something, the early 90s. But when you go through those tunnels, there's just something really comfortable about it. I think maybe it feels like I'm back in my mother's womb or something. I don't have any connection on the Wi-Fi, the cell phone. Just relax for a couple of minutes and, and think about, well, probably what I'm going to build next in my Lego city. Because that's usually the only thing I ever think about, of course. Hey, what happened? Anyways, put this footage on here. And for this side, I have this kind of uh, pine, a bit of different design. I don't remember where I got this from. Maybe that was also from an advent calendar or Harry Potter set or something. Good thing with this is you can have it a bit off centered like that. I will have to get those levels. That turned out pretty, pretty nice. So there, it's basically mirroring this part. But I mean, that happens in nature. Total random, you know. Well, would you have a look at that? I totally forgot to film when I was cutting these colored papers. They are mounted with double-sided tape behind. So they're pretty snugly fit in there behind. I think that really works well with the classic looking buildings here. Uh, because you know they used to have these kind of background in Lego catalogs back in the 80s. So I'm pretty happy with that. Looks nice. I mean look, you can go, you can pan the camera like this, go back. All the levels really add something to it. You really feel like there's a slope of buildings. I mean, come on, this is good. This is something. In the next video, I will have to uh, address the issue with the staircase. I really need to build it. I'm a bit short on gray bricks in both light and dark color. So this will be a bit of a challenge. How I will, I will probably need to use other pieces and you know, put in like commercials uh, or advertisement and stuff just to hide the fact that I don't have that many gray pieces left. Or should I wait and order? Uh, I don't feel like waiting. I, I, right now there's an order from Lego that's missing somewhere. Uh, I've seen it on in the, in the post office app. It's just going back and forth between two centrals, uh, central hubs for the post system. And I've called them and I emailed them and they're trying to, to get it to me. It's that bonus gift you get from, from the hidden side when you order from, from Lego. Now this video is kind of short, but it was a lot of work. I just didn't film everything, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. And you know, as always, stay out of the nonsense, stay awesome, and please subscribe.